Today we are going to be doing two digit by one digit subtraction with regrouping. We have 13 minus 7. It's going to write line here. It's going to write tens. And ones. I'm going to put, we have one tenth. Put in one tenth. And we have three ones. We'll have to remember that more on the floor, meaning if there's more on the floor, we're going to go next door and get 10 more. Because we cannot subtract 7 from 3 because 3 is smaller than 7. So we're going to go next door and borrow from the 10th. So if we're going to borrow from the 10th, this is going to become a zero and this three is going to become 13 now we're going to take away borrow the 10 and we're going to put 10 once because we borrow from here so we're going to write one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we have thirteen ones, and we're gonna subtract seven ones. So we take away seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, ones. So our answer is thirteen minus seven is going to be six. Our next problems we have. 32 minus 4. So we're going to go back and remember what I said on the last problem. More on the floor, meaning the 4 is more than the top number. Go next door and get 10 more. So we're going to borrow from the 10th place. So this 3 is going to become a 2. So this 2 is going to become a 12. And we're going to borrow from the tenth. We're going to take this tenth and put ten ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. So we're going to subtract now four from twelve. So we're going to take away four once. One, two, three, four. Then we're just going to count how many ones do we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to have eight ones. Two minus zero is going to be two. So your answer is going to be 28. Another way that we can solve it without using any manipulatives is we're still going to remember that one, the more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more so we're gonna borrow same way we did three it becomes a two and this two becomes a 12.
But now, since we don't have manipulators, we can use our helping hands. So we're going to go and remember we have to stop at 12. So in our head, or we can use our hands and say 4. So we're going to start, start at 4. So we say 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have to stop at 12. So now we look at our fingers and we count how many fingers we have. We have 8 fingers. And we still have 2 minus 0 is still going to be 2. Now we are doing 49 minus 4. Drawing a line so I won't get confused between our 10s and our 1s. Now we have 9, 9 minus 4. If it's more on top, which we have, then because 9 is bigger than 4, there's no need to stop. So we gotta do 9 minus 4. We use our helping hands, we put up 9, and we take up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and we have 5. Now we have 4 minus 0, you can say it is 4. So your answer is going to be 45. Now we're doing 67 minus 3. So if there's, there's more on top, is 7 bigger than 3? Yes, yeah, so it's more on top. There's no need to stop. So we're going to subtract 7 minus 3. So we're going to put 7 fingers up. Then we're going to take away 3. 1, 2, Three. Now we have one, two, three, four. And then six minus zero is six. We are doing now 13 minus three. I'm gonna make a line just so I won't get confused. I'm gonna write our tens place. I'm gonna write our ones place. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and remember that number is the same. Zero is the gain. So if it's 3 minus 3, so it's going to be 0, and 1 minus nothing, or 0, is going to be 1. We're doing now 67 minus 7. I'm just going to draw a line in the middle here, so I don't get confused. And just write our tens. We're going to write our ones place. So, don't forget we're doing... Numbers the same, zeros the gain. So here we have numbers are the same. So that means zero is going to be the gain, meaning that 7 minus 7, because it's the same number, is going to be zero. And then we have 6 minus no, nothing, or 6 minus zero, is going to be 6. So your answer is going to be 60.